Let's see how we can create a new project in Visual Studio Code and how we can run it. First, press your Windows key and open your Visual Studio Code. If you are in Mac or Linux, just open Visual Studio Code. After opening, the process is the same. Now you will see this screen. Here you will see a bunch of options that says New File, Open File and Open Folder. So what we'll do is click on File and click on Open Folder here because if this screen is changed, this will remain the same and click on Open Folder. Now if you already have a project, what you can do is you can just go to that project here or wherever you have your project and just click select folder and your project will open. So let's say I open this chatbot from wiki, I click on select folder and as you can see my project folder with two files is open. I can double click on this and it will open now and yeah, I can click on chatbot and this text is coming. So my project is open now what if you want to create a new project okay so let's now create a new project and let's run that project so again that process is the same just click on file and click on open folder now what you need to do is go to the project directory where you want to create a project right so i'll go to projects and here let's create a new folder or a new directory if you are on linux or mac and let's call it my project right and once the project is created or project directory is created click on select folder and when this pop-up comes just click on yes I trust the authors here your project folder is open right now just click on this new file and create a new file where you will write your code so if it, this is HTML you can just create index.html or whatever you want to name your file and just click on this to create your project file. So if you are on Python, you can create a new file by clicking this and naming it main.py or anything else you want. Just the extension needs to be py for Python, for HTML it needs to be .html. In any case, you can create files by clicking this button for any programming language that you are using. If you are JavaScript, you can call it myfile.js or whatever you want. So as you can see, you will see different icons for different programming languages. For HTML, I am seeing this angle braces for main.py that is python i'm seeing this python logo for javascript js and if i do a php thing i'll let's say uh, php i'll see php logo as you can see inside my project folder i can create any file i want by this and if you are using python php or any other language just create a file for it now let's write some sample code and let's run it so i'll close these things and I'll write a sample code for index.html that is an HTML file and this process will be same for all the other programming languages so let's say I just use emit that is if I type three exclamations exclamations and click on this okay let's do this again and hit enter let's just enter in doc type okay. it's not working for some reason let's say I just create an HTML folder here, sorry, HTML file here, and just write hello world. Okay, so now we have written some code in our file, right? And we can run it by going to run and, sorry, run by and running start debugging or run without debugging. So if I click on run without debugging, it will ask me where I want to open it, I want to Chrome or Edge. So if I click on Chrome, as you can see hello world is printed and my program is successfully executed now for other programming languages now let's go back to this first you will have to install the respective compiler because visual studio code is just the editor if you want to run python code you will need to install python compiler if you want to run php code you will need to run php compiler or install php compiler check the link in the description it will show you how you can set up your vs code for python or php or javascript if you are interested now this is how you can create a new project and create a new file. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.